whilst experiments are a fundamental part of gathering research data for psychologists to help understand human behaviour, support hypotheses and develop theories, they are not the only way in which this is done. Observation, self-report and correlational methods are also fundamental tools in the psychological researcher's arsenal. Let's have a look in more detail at these methods now and identify their strengths and limitations. Naturalistic observation gives it away completely in the title. The researcher observes naturally. This method is all about taking a fly on the wall approach when observing subjects in their natural environment, taking care not to interfere in any way with the subjects they are studying. Ecological validity is by far this method's most prominent strength. There are no demand characteristics among subjects as they are being observed in their natural environment and are unaware that they are being observed. Another major strength is that these types of studies can be used as foundational support for theory development, which can then be tested in more controlled environments by researchers. As the subjects are not interacted with, one could easily assume there to be no limitations to this methodology, but in fact there are a few. Without the identification and manipulation of variables in a controlled environment, it is impossible to minimise extraneous variables. These may then have an impact on the results obtained. The tendency to see what we want to see is not one which escapes researchers. Observer biased is the tendency of researchers to focus on and record only what they expect. This can be problematic as results may therefore be less reliable. It would be considered unethical to observe subjects in a situation where they would not expect to be observed by strangers. This significantly limits the situations in which naturalistic observation can occur. It is imperative that subjects' privacy is respected by researchers. Established ethical experimental procedures such as debriefing and informed consent are also difficult with naturalistic observation.